scientists have said that they have detected warning signs of the collapse of the Gulf Stream, saying that this could be a tipping point for humanity. Scientists behind the discovery have said that they have found an almost complete loss of stability over the last century, and this is in terms of the currents. Over 1,600 years of data has been compiled and studied, and they revealed that it's currently at its lowest point, and that it could be approaching a shutdown. The researchers said that if this was to happen, it would have huge consequences on the world, saying that billions of people would be affected, especially in countries such as Africa and India. Many people would have to battle the elements as massive storms would hit various areas, and also sea levels around the Americas would increase. The Amazon rainforest would also be affected, and the Antarctic ice sheet could be ripped apart. It was only recently that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said that coastlines around the US are going to increase dramatically, and this is going to happen within a year, and that many coastal regions will see an increase in flooding, saying that the damage will likely go into the billions. The Met Office UK said the following, The Gulf Stream is a small part of something called the Thermohaline Circulation, or Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. This is a large global-scale ocean surveyor belt driven by differences in temperature and salt content. Originating at the tip of Florida, the Gulf Stream is a warm and swift Atlantic Ocean current that follows the eastern coastline of the US and Canada before crossing the Atlantic Ocean towards Europe. It ensures that the climate of Western Europe is much warmer than it would otherwise be. As warm water flows from the equator to the poles it cools and some evaporation occurs, which increases the amount of salt. Low temperature and a high salt content means high density, and the water sinks deep in the oceans. The cold, dense water also moves slowly, Eventually, it gets pulled back to the surface and warms in a process called upwelling, and the circulation is complete. End quote. One of the problems that scientists and researchers are facing is that the system is hard to read, meaning that it's hard to predict a forecast for the collapse of this. They've said that one thing they do know is that it will have a huge impact. Nicholas Bors one of the researchers from the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research in Germany, said the following, The signs of destabilization being visible already is something that I wouldn't have expected, and I find that scary. It's something that you just can't allow to happen. It's not known what level of CO2 would trigger an AMOC collapse, so the only thing to do is keep emissions as low as possible. The likelihood of this extremely high impact event happening increases with every gram of CO2 that we put into the atmosphere. End quote. He said that he and his team of researchers observed large parts of Greenland melting, saying that if this continues it will cause a big rise in global sea levels. Levesque Caesar at Mammoth University in Ireland had this to say. The study method cannot give us an exact timing of a possible collapse but the analysis presents evidence that the AMOC has already lost stability, which I take as a warning that we might be closer to an AMOC tipping than we think. David Fornley at University College London, who was involved in some of the studies, said the following, These signs of decrease in stability are concerning, but we still don't know if a collapse will occur, or how close we might be to it. Scientists also said that due to climate change heating up the world, it's going to lead to a domino effect, which will have big consequences for humanity, saying that these increased temperatures will have irreversible impacts. The research published in the journal Earth System Dynamics revealed the following. The study suggests that below 2C of global warming, for example in the Paris Agreement target range, there could still be a significant risk of triggering climate tipping points. What the new study doesn't do is unpack the timescale over which tipping points changes. Instead, it focuses on the eventual consequences. 
the results should be viewed as commitments that we may be making soon to potentially irreversible changes, leaving a grim legacy to future generations. Antarctica is another location that's being closely monitored by scientists. Unfortunately, in our current age of man-made climate change, rising global temperatures have already begun to have an effect on Antarctica's frozen landscape. Because of our effect on climate and the knock-off effects of carbon emissions more generally, scientists are constantly observing Antarctica due to its importance in our global ecosystem. However, in 2017, scientists were shot to find a hole in Antarctica's ice of massive proportions. The hole, also known as Polynea, is a hole formed in Antarctica's ice during the winter months. In this season, Antarctica's ice should be at its strongest and most abundant, so the formation of such a significant breakage is worrying. Holes in Antarctica's ice are usually very difficult to find. The winter months are harsh on the southernmost continent, making it hard to observe and study any holes that appear. This time, however, the hole was impossible to miss. Shown by a large expanse of seawater, the hole in Antarctica was incredibly vast, stretching to almost 30,000 square miles. This discovery is the biggest since the 70s. Kent Moore, a professor of physics at the University of Toronto, said the following. In the depths of winter, far more than a month, we've had this area of open water. It's just remarkable that this went away for 40 years and then came back. That said, scientists knew where to look, as another had formed in 2016, although it was not as big as the 2017 discovery. In the Southern Ocean, the deeper parts of water are much warmer and saltier than the water at the surface. Wide currents in the ocean transport this warmer water towards the surface, allowing it to melt ice sheets forming at the top of the ocean. So what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.